What's going on my dudes, One Step here, giving you the quick list of the top five easiest characters to learn in Mortal Kombat 1. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into these characters. Now real quick, let me state the two things I consider when placing a character in a category of easy to learn is first, how easy are their combo strings and specials to execute and implement in their gameplay? And secondly, how simple and easy to understand is their game plan and their strategies as a character? So keep those things in mind as we go over these easy to learn characters. Honestly, Mortal Kombat's been the same forever and so has Scorpion. We, we can't really have an easy to learn character list with without including Scorpion. He's just never a complex, you know, hard to understand character. There's no real game plan besides getting your opponent's face, do some damage, have some fun combos with it. I mean, he's got some good stuff too. We got fun air combos we can pull off. He's got a decent mix up game with, you know, overheads we got going on. His biggest weakness is he doesn't have a ton of lows. We have our sweeps, you know, and those are always good lows, but his mix up game is kind of the most, you know, lacking department he's got. But man, he's just a blast to play. We got a good teleport. We even have a low projectile of sorts with our hellfire, and that makes it unblockable if you enhance it. Honestly, he's just got easy to perform combo strings, fun to use specials, no major gimmicks going on. If you're a brand new player to the Mortal Kombat franchise, or just, you know, when you're doing Mortal Kombat 1, Scorpion's probably going to be a go to for tons of reasons. How do you have fire without ice? How do you have Scorpion without Sub-Zero on an easy to understand character list? There's just no major gimmicks going on with Sub-Zero and he's, his game plan is pretty simple. You wanna punish your opponent, you have the ice cone for that. You have a great low slide for either combo enders or catch your opponent off guard. It's good for a wake up attack. We got great mix up game with lows. Catch your opponent off guard with the overheads. I mean, we have fun and easy combos to execute and pull off. I mean, just look at this. Honestly, that was pretty easy, pretty basic, and just so much fun to pull off. He's just a classic character that's been here forever. His game plan never changes. There's no real gimmicks going on with Sub-Zero. Not a lot of things to keep track of. A sweet, simple, and easy list of combo strings you're gonna use quite a bit and specials you're gonna use. Like, your mental stack of things to worry about is not too high when playing Sub-Zero. And that's not a bad thing. He's just easy to understand right from the get-go. Also, guys, real quick, let me just state that for the record, just because a character might be easy to use or easy to understand does not make them, you know, either A, a really good character or even a bad character they're just simple to understand right from the get-go but that doesn't make them you know amazing or bad it's all about the player behind the controller also let me know down below in the comments which characters do you think are easy to understand and learn i want to hear your thoughts down below another character that i think is actually pretty easy to understand from the get-go is lee may she doesn't have a ton of gimmicks and again her specials and her combo strings are pretty easy to get from the get-go i mean honestly her biggest gimmick she's got going on is her lanterns and that's only because you might want to think about the future and what kind of player trying to set up so you're throwing the lanterns out that you might want to pop them in the air so they land in the lantern you do another one and you continue the combo from there she's got a couple set plays to worry about yes but no real gimmicks she's got fun setups with low starting as well she's got fun and easy to pull off specials no major gimmicks man honestly just a blast to play simple to get and man she's just a blast to have fun with as a character i love pulling these plays off bro Oh my gosh, that was just so much fun to do. And it was 420 damage. Like that, that was just a blast, man. The way she feels as a character is just fun. You'll get used to the lanterns pretty quick. And once you do, Lee Mei is a menace. Another character that I really believe is easy to understand, especially from the get-go, is Baraka. I mean, he just got everything you would want in a character. He's got a good projectile. He's got overheads for combo starters. He's got lows for combo starters. Like, it gives you everything that you might want. I mean, we even have air specials. We can, of course, do that in a combo, make, make it look flashy. And that wasn't even that hard, to be honest with you. He's got no major gimmicks. He's a character that wants to be in your face, simple and easy to understand, and also executes combo strings along with easy specials. I mean, all the specials really deal around his blades. I mean, a down forward two option as well. That's an overhead. We have our back forward three option. I mean, just look how satisfying all this is to really do. That's just one, two, down, forward, two. That's just a blast to use. I mean, if you don't believe me that Baraka's easy to use from the giggle, look at this. We have a combo string that's six buttons, but look what they are. That's right. It's just circle, which is four. So we got four, 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 four. We got six inputs all the same button. So you're telling me I can just stand here and just smash the four button and I'm doing this crazy combo like hello? And you're also gonna tell me that can go into specials as well. So we can just smash that and a down, forward, two into a special? 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, right from the get-go, Baraka is pretty simple and pretty easy to understand. Doesn't mean he's not hard to master, but man, from the get-go, you probably have a better time with him than other characters. And man, is he a blast to play as well. Personally, Baraka is actually more fun to play in Mortal Kombat 1 than he probably has been since MK9. As a Raiden main since MK9 myself, I will tell you that Raiden is actually pretty simple to understand from the get-go in Mortal Kombat 1. We don't have a crazy amount of combo strings. We have a few that are going to use the most. We got one example right here with forward two, two, four, four, three, four, just three, four, one, two, and your two, four, two. That's going to be the majority of your combo sets along with your specials. You're down forward two, you're down back three. You have a projectile as well to help out when needed. You got to teleport down up. You have your back forward three, your fly move. You're going to start to see how you're going to add these combo strings and specials together to make some awesome and fun combos. He's got no major gimmicks, nothing, you know, crazy to worry about besides get my opponent's face and electrify them. This game plan is just easier to grasp than some characters, especially in the beginning. Again, easy to understand from the get-go does not mean that they're easy to master. It'll still take quite some time to actually master Raiden, but once you do, man, he's going to be a menace. But he's pretty easy to pick up. I mean, I'm not going to say that this combo is easy, Easy, but just look what we could do here. With a couple dashes in our combos, we were able to do 400 damage with one meter burn and a few combo strings and specials. Don't let that fool you though. He is quite easy to punish, so you want to make sure you play him a little bit safer than just throwing moves out there. But if you can land those combos, man, it feels so good. Again, just from the get-go and in the beginning, rating can be pretty easy and simple to understand. Pick up and just roll with him and work on your way to master him. He's not nearly as complicated as some characters can be, and in my opinion, he's just a blast to play. Let me reiterate that I think it is all about the player behind the controller. I do not think that just because a character is easy easy to learn and pick up that that makes them either a bad character or a really good character it just makes them easy to pick up and just roll with from the beginning but again it's all about how you play them and also just because they're easy does not mean that they're easy to master either i mean it will take time patience and practice to truly master any of the characters in mortal kombat these are just the characters that i think are easy to pick up from the beginning let me know your thoughts down below guys what do you think of these characters do you think they're easy to learn what characters do you think are easy to learn in mortal kombat 1 for more in-depth guides on these characters check my description below to learn how to play them and how to master them subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time